Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more Tainted Grail. And normally we only have some more bosses to go, but on this one I'm actually trying to gather these hearts and to see about the true final boss. So let's see what uh, this is about. Never, I think, have I had to deal with this treasure guardian. I'm playing with the Sentinel. I think it is uh, the uh, strongest class. Let's keep this for later. Could be useful. That's very powerful. And I get a hit that increases my damage by 50%. So we are going to open with that. Um, I'm, I think... Uh, can I get defenses for 16 on this? Not on my opening hand. So we basically do want to get a lot of damage going or I can block a little bit but uh, yeah let's first of all get that damage buff up to 200 and uh, then we've got a shot of destiny that increase for every card played uh, but first of all oh this all of them have 50 percent 50 armor that is quite a lot but all right let's get working on that then I'll try and take this guy down right there let's see can get a couple more free shots in Ooh, that's a big hit on the main guy um, or do I want to make sure let's I'm actually going to go a little bit nuts maybe or do I, I I'll save this for later uh, let's see Could have gone straight for the straight for the main guy. This may have been. Oh, I actually didn't read. When killed, this enemy will give you a card that can hurt its master. Ooh, it will spawn again and again until. Oh, so I have to focus on the preacher. Oh man, I, again, learn to read. This enemy cannot be hurt or stunned. The only thing that can harm it is divine oil. Okay, obtained by killing its minions. So I <laughs> more by accident than anything else. I have been hitting the right targets. Uh, we get a free scavenge, that's very good news, because I can keep going then with the big shots like this. We'll do a returning shot on this one as well. And I guess we'll just open up um, with a big hit on you. Almost down. Shot of destiny is a lot of damage. Let me think, I could draw or I could hit. I think we, this is enough to finish this guy off, so I will do that. And this gives me... Deal one hit for X percent. All right. Next, I'll do the shot of destiny on one of them. Maybe I'll yeah. I'll try to hit this guy. Oh, one shot him. That's super nice. Uh, I do have to play both of these, I guess. So let's do that. Oh, he's already at minus one fifty in armor as well. Those are pretty good. And now I can still draw a maneuver. That doesn't matter. So I'm gonna do the scavenge. And I get a fully loaded optima, uh, ultimate on um, turn one. Let's see what we can hit. Oh, we get another divine oil. We get another divine oil. Let's see if it's enough. <laughs> My god, we just one shot that treasure garden. Yeah, this character can do a lot of damage. I am at the max level of 20, so I don't get any XP anymore. Uh, but that was very nice. Very satisfying. Uh, and then I get a big pile of word shards. A new combat slot opens up for items or I gain two extra damage I'm just gonna take two damage I, this is really what I've done uh, I have focused almost solely on the damage so here's the boss uh, what was this one about let's see oh also I think a new one this enemy will summon guard stealing allies all right uh, so I bought this from town. Let's hope that it's plus damage. No, it's a block. That's too bad. I can draw a maneuver. I can gain a bit of barrier, but he intends to summon an ally. So that's fine, basically. Probably can't be stunned. Can't even right click this guy. Interesting. Let's see. I could try a bola shot, but first let's do... Let's try to do as much damage as possible. So I'm going to open up with lowering his armor. Then we're going to do a shot of hope and try to draw some stuff. That's a free attack that ignores armor. That's pretty good. Uh, we get a free shot here as well. Let's see. I could test the ball as shot. It doesn't say that he can't be stunned. So let's try it. He's immune to stuns. Should actually have figured that. So now my best bet is I can still draw the maneuver that does deal one hit. Ah, my, oh, well, it's for two turns. 
So that's definitely worth it then. And he's gonna summon an ally, so I'm gonna leave this ammo. And let's see what happens. He summons, okay, a little bit more than one ally. Jesus Christ. Um, gain 50% damage. That's okay, we're at 300%. He does have a lot of armor. Gain two ultimate charges. So, my best bet, I think, on this one is to try and fill up the ultimates. Uh, while I'm gonna keep focusing on him. Especially with this. And so, this is two per. So, I'll need eight at this point, which is four cards. And I'll need a lot less, so I can use these shots. Let's maybe try and take some of these guys down a notch. Because they don't have armor. So this is better damage on them. That still makes sense to me. Let's hit another one. And now I can do three more, which is six charges, which is enough to have a fully charged optimal. 30 hits between 52 and 67 with a bit of luck. We clean up all the adds we do. He's halfway down. All right, good stuff. Three hits of 9 to 11, though. So I'm going to use this one for uh, two blocks. A little bit of damage. I'll take that. And I hit back. He again has to summon. Gain 200% damage this turn. I'll take that. Uh, an acid shot. Get him to negative armor. Seems pretty important. Uh, next, I'll do this. That's not necessary. So a free shot. And then a lob shot. Alright, that starts to be a decent chunk of damage. Um, eight hits. Eight times, let's say, 40. It's really not enough. So we, we're gonna save this again and hope that we can get a full ultimate next turn. Um, so that's not gonna be easy. But somehow he didn't summon anything. <laughs> Not sure what happens here. Alright, let's slow his, his armor a little bit. We have 200% damage. Hit this one. Um, future shot. Let's do that. And then an acid shot. Which will lower his armor a little bit. I am going to take some damage on this. 4 times 9. Um... But yeah, I have to. I've never fought this guy, so it's... I don't think I've ever fought this guy. Right, 8 times 50... 16 times 50. Times 40 is the worst case. That's over 400, 600 damage. So with a bit of luck, and especially if I would use one of these, let's just hope that this will be enough. Yeah, it is. Okay, good stuff. Um, so he's been defeated. I'll take these candles. Thank you very much. I'll take that. This feels like an echo okay, something and now I have the final weird stone heart. Let's get back to town. Let me think here. Can I still upgrade myself? Let's see what the seamstress could provide do? me. 150. Fortunately, not enough for any upgrades. I could see if I could do something else here. Gamble. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, then we've got her. Yeah, maybe we could buy um, consumables. Let me think here. Good restock. So that was pretty good. Gain Target gains and loses 50 armor. All right, let's buy this. I don't think that one's necessary. But that could be good. Uh, let's take a quick look as well here at so extra damage extra damage a little bit of healing and two blocks I'll take that. I think I can still rest here to get to full HP So I will rest There we go. I'm not gonna use the wolf uh, Anything I need here to get some more so that up arrow and that up arrow Okay See if I can the blacksmith buy rune stones no none of that i'm at 34 again i'm gonna go for 50 so that i can uh, unlock all of this stuff and then he ready let's see 
permanent upgrades i need 200 or 500 and how this works i figured this out whenever you get like three cards that you can choose you choose one the other two become a scrap so basically the more you play the more you get this currency but now we should have the three hearts so i can go to the crumbling men here summon the true boss requires three birth zones i'll be honest this is the second time uh, that i did this but i'm i have no idea what to do basically uh what i did last time that i was here was uh, after the first turn i like played the stack thing and it killed me just that was like my guess maybe that's the answer because right now he can't do any damage he'll do 35 damage to me let's see this enemy has two forms corporeal and spectral the longer he remains in one form the stronger he becomes in corporeal form his damage is increased every turn in spectral form he can summon minions to his side when stunned he inserts useless cards into your deck so yeah that's not very promising I can draw two maneuvers. Uh, 35 damage do I have? Almost have enough. Um, that little bit of damage I'm sort of okay with. Of the next maneuver. So we could get that for free. Let's do this. Let's see about lowering his armor a little bit. Definitely feels like that's something that's important. In all circumstances. Um, I'll do the double shots. I'm not gonna stun him just yet, because now we're at 30-30, so I'll draw the two maneuvers. Oh, lose 50% damage for two turns, not worth it in my opinion, so I'm gonna get a little bit of extra barrier. And then I'm gonna see what happens. So I fully blocked that, somehow he was stunned, all of this stuff was reset, not really sure. Oh. Play this card to lose and get rid of it. Okay. Force the Force Dweller to switch. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so let's do the Mythical Gamble first. It's damaged, that's good. I'm gonna force him to switch. Does it happen this turn? Apparently not. So I'm going to discharge. Let's see what happens now. Okay, now he's in spectral form. I still can't do anything to him. Interesting. Um, I gain a block. And here he's going to... Presumably summon stuff. <laughs> Not sure. So, my best bet on this. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of fine with him summoning. Um, I'm kind of fine with getting a free block. Then I'm going to do this. I'll take the free shots. Not really sure. Oh, damage dealt 146. And now I'll do Acid Flood. Uh, it reduces his armor. And I discard all of these arrows. Or I can do this one for the big one. Damage increased by 50% for each card played this hand. Let's try this one. Okay, there we go. Damage at 169. So he gets 100. That's decent chunk. But I should be able to do this. Uh, fill this up and get all the shots in. Any of them have armor? No. So I'm going to do this one here first. Uh, lob shot. Deal 7 hits at random enemies. I'm going to do a hope one. Draw 3 maneuvers to reduce their costs. That's actually... Um, because this then turns into a zero cost card. So I'm gonna like try to reduce some of these guys as well with what I still have as being free. 14 out of. So I'm gonna use the triple somersaults. I get ooh, a free shot as well. Lose 50% damage again. Mm, kinda don't want that. So I'll play these. And then we'll uh, just start hitting everything. Okay. He just takes a lot, a thousand damage. Still nothing that I can see. And somehow he gets stunned. Oh, and I keep losing XP for that. Okay, deal one hit. I'm gonna now play this. What the hell? I'm not really sure what else I could possibly do. And I can't get rid of these cards. But I keep doing more damage. Uh, I'll do another... Okay. Acid shot for sure. A little bit less here. 
uh, free shots, piercing shots. Reduce the energy cost of one card in hand. So that should mean two hits. Flare shots, just marking, but it's an extra in the ultimate. And he summons stuff again with a hundred barrier. All right. And here I can force him to switch again. Hmm. Is that what I have to do? And do I have enough damage, actually? Unfortunately, I don't think so. So I would need all my arrows. I'm gonna have to draw first. Okay, at least I get a free one. So I'm gonna have to go like this. Um, again, we're gonna try and lower their damage. Each card played. Random. Flare shot is not that great. That's way too much damage. Deal one hit and reduce of the next maneuver. I don't have any maneuvers. So I think this one may be my best one. Let's do that. Let's hope that my ultimate can get rid of... Uh, no. Alright. Use the two blocks. Should have maybe boosted my damage here though. Yeah, I should have definitely boosted my damage here. But alright, let's see what happens. That's a good block. Okay. I'm down to 1 HP. Alright, let's uh, grab this then. I can actually... I'll just do both of them. It's not a waste. So next I can force him. He fully heals those guys up, which is annoying. Smoke shots... Acid shots, three free shots. All right, let's see here. Let's first of all get rid of your. Okay, that's actually a lot. That's really a lot of HP. Oh, good God. 91 hit as well. Can I stun this guy? Apparently, I can. 91 here too. I'll do that. I'll do this. And I think I have to just. Use. I should have done this right off the start. I didn't notice that this was 500 HP. Let's see what we can still do. 91. Can't use this anymore. So that's gonna be it. Okay, some... Oh yeah, I stunned the guy. Um, Alright, we're still in it. <laughs> Next. 336, 336. That's unfortunately quite a lot. I'm at minus 40 armor. How did that happen? No idea. Luckily, I can do a first stun. Maybe I'll risk... So now he's... Oh, he changes back like this immediately. Um, and can I break this guy? Let's see. That's decent. That's decent. Give me a free arrow. No, got nothing left. So yeah, let's let's do this. Blocked and done for. Defeated. Let's see what they have to say here. But yeah, that's like the the true boss. I do get a pretty big score. I I also did this on difficulty one just to try and explore it. Place redirect, effect chosen enemy for tour, multi shot, draw, okay. Okay, let's keep going. And then I start to get some of these things. Oh, not sure what this was. Leaderboard place 104 on this run with doing 2422 damage to the boss. Um, okay, interesting. I'm going to guess that the final boss can actually not be defeated and that then it's just a leaderboard. Try and get as high as possible. But let me know in the comments if I am wrong on that. Um, still, that was pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, this is like Tainted Grail. Probably one of the final videos. Maybe I'll play a little bit more. There's a couple more classes that I haven't played yet. Um, very, very interesting game. And uh, yeah, having done like almost a dozen videos, definitely played over an hour for every video, including a little bit of a flying grinding. I easily got uh, the uh, price of, I think I paid 13. 
13 euros, a 30% off uh, during the summer sale. That definitely makes the game worth it. And in fact, I am planning to still keep going until I unlock the marketplace. There's like 5,000 gold that I need to invest in that. Um, and, and get the second armor thing as well. And then we'll see if we if we can have a little bit more fun with Tainted Grail. But uh, for the coverage, this may be it. Uh, very, very interesting. I'm definitely uh, having fun uh, playing this game. Not that this would ever become a main game or anything like that, but uh, for something new to try, definitely recommended. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.